Hello, my friends. If you want to know how to get rid of 11 lines or one line or 111 lines, you are watching the right video because I'm going to show you how to improve the area between your eyebrows and get rid of all those lines. Absolutely naturally, no Botox involved. If you're new to my channel or if you don't know me, my name is Natalia Broberg. I am the creator of the fitbases.com Natural Beauty Academy. I teach natural rejuvenation techniques that have been approved by doctors. So it's not some gimmick that you can find on the internet somewhere else. It is the real deal. So before I am going to show you how to get rid of 11 lines naturally using a simple spoon or a gua sha. Uh, and after that, how to use kinesio tape to just make sure you enhance the effect. I'm going to tell you why you actually get your 11 or one or 111 lines in between your eyebrows. If you are new to face yoga or any other natural facial rejuvenation techniques, I'm going to blow your mind because our face has also a ton of muscles just like our body. However, the muscles in the face are totally different from the muscles in the body. The muscles in the body connected to the bone with both ends, right? The muscle connects to the bone here and that, for example. The muscles in the face, most of the muscles in the face, they connect to the bone with one end and then they connect they insert into the skin with the other end. And this is how we create our facial expressions. This is how the wrinkles are formed also. So in order to get rid of wrinkles, you need to relax the muscles that cause those wrinkles. You need to lean those muscles out and return them to their natural length and like this you will permanently get rid of the wrinkles on your face no botox no injections involved as simple as that so let's look at this lady over here let me show you how we create our uh, 11 lines right look at this lady she is now creating this expression over here and look at this muscle this one that goes along her eyebrow. So this muscle is here. So it starts somewhere here. We all are different. That's why I say approximately it starts here or there because all the faces are different. So all the muscle positioning is approximate. So it starts somewhere here and then it goes until about the mid of your eyebrow. This is the corrugator. This muscle is called corrugator. Uh, there you go. Here it is. So when we contract our corrugator, the muscle tenses. When the muscle tenses, it shortens. So it inserts into the bone here and it inserts into the skin here. So that's why we form 11 lines. This is how 11 lines are formed because this muscle here, this little nasty one, that it tenses, shortens, pulls this skin and this is your 11 lines on both ends, right? Sometimes it can be more prominent on one end than another end. And this is what's called facial asymmetry. <laughs> Anatomy class 101. Alrighty, so for us, in order to get rid of these 11 lines, we need to do what, logically speaking? Right, we need to relax this muscle, put it back in place. And like this, we get rid of these lines here. Well, let me show you a little experiment how you can feel this muscle. Place your fingers over your eyebrows. And now you go into a uh, frown. You feel something tenses under your skin, right there under your fingers. This is the corrugator. This is the muscle that is responsible for those 11 lines, for those frown lines, so unattractive, we all hate them. I know that, so I'm gonna show you right now how to get rid of them. You can do it with your hands. I show tons of techniques on my YouTube channel, my Instagram account, how to do it with your hands only. So today I thought I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of those lines using uh, gua sha. This is a beautiful Fit Faces gua sha. If you can see, that, that, ooh, there we go, pretty, pretty. Uh, if you don't have my gua sha, you can use just a regular one. Uh, I prefer mine, of course. You can use a spoon if you don't have a gua sha, a simple tablespoon. 
Uh, if you have a magic quartz wand, you can use a magic quartz wand. That's about it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show it to you first with the gua sha, and then I'm going to show you the alternatives. I'm going to use my Fit Faces gua sha, this beautiful one, with the anti-sleep engraving. So you can use pretty much any end you want. Yeah, anything except for the pointy one. The pointy one is not for this. So you're going to do now, lean out this muscle. What I'm going to tell you to do is first to apply oil. I am not applying oil, uh, facial oil, right? Not essential oil, right? So the, the oil for the face. Uh, any oil that suits your skin tone. I have workshops on the oil, which one is good for which skin. So you can find that also. So you apply the oil. I'm not going to apply it because I'm going to show you the next technique, the kinesio taping afterwards, straight after I'm going to wash my face. So imagine that I've applied oil. You do not imagine on yourself. You actually apply oil before you do it. Now you're going to hold this area like diagonally because we're going to work with a gua sha. And you're going to use the stone and you're going to scrape, it's a scraping technique, over your eyebrow. It's not a pleasant feeling, I will tell you that. Whenever you feel the pain, stop on it, it's your trigger point. Just stop on it and press, not too hard. Breathe, so breathe in, and breathe out, breathe this pain out, and then move over the indentation that you've just created and then you go next i go not over the actual eyebrow slightly above slightly above it again trigger point breathe in press on it sand the pain out and next and that's it I prefer to go until the middle, so until the end of the muscle, which is some, somewhere at the highest point of your eyebrow. And you do exactly the same on the other side. So this gua sha works exactly like mine. I just love mine more because it's mine. And it's got this anti-sleep engraving because otherwise, because you use oil and it's just like, it can sleep off your hands very easily, the regular one. This one has got an anti-sleep teddy bear. Um, amazing thing. You can use a stick. The wand works exactly the same, just you go focally on each point of the muscle or you can use a spoon. A spoon is, let's call it an alternative. It's not ideal what I'm going to show you because it's a little bit, um, you need to be careful. You cannot hurt yourself with it, but it's not as pleasant uh, as gua sha. But if this is the only option you've got, then go for it. The same thing happens, apply oil to your eyebrow area and then hold and then you use the side of the scoop spoon scoop and then you go over the muscle and then hop trigger point something that hurts stop don't press too hard with the spoon the spoon is a little bit it's got a sharper end so don't press too hard but breathe in send the pain out now move further over this indentation that you've just created and further. Stop. Again, another trigger point. Let's imagine this is another trigger point. Breathe in. Send the point, send the pain out. There we go. It, it should take approximately um, 45 to one minute for each eyebrow. When you're done with that, you go in to go and wash your face. You need to wash the oil off, okay? So go wash your face. Do not apply any skincare products because now we're going to use Kinesio tapes to enhance the effect from this uh, exercise, the one that I showed you. So press and pause, go wash your hands and face and come back and then uh, start this video all over again. And I'm going to now tell you about the Kinesio tapes. Kinesio tapes, this is the Fit Faces Kinesia Tape, the one that I'm trying right now. Hopefully it's available by the time you're watching this video. Amazing thing. Any duct tape, sellotape, uh, band-aids, they are not for your face. Under no circumstances, do not apply them 
on your face because they can cause a severe allergic reaction, severe, plus they're not breathable. These tapes, Kinesio tapes, are a totally breath made of totally breathable material, which is cotton, and they've got the adhesive part, it's hypoallergenic glue. Uh, I still suggest you make this the wrist test when you cut a piece and you put it on your wrist for a good few hours. And then you carefully take it off and you see if you don't have any burning sensation, any um, allergic reaction, anything. If, if there is nothing, if the skin is as if nothing, then this tape is good for you. We all are different. Some tapes can be good uh, for you. Other tapes can be good for other people and vice versa. So you just need to find yours. This one is amazing because, again, it's mine. Um, I'm going to show you the technique right now. So let's measure the area where this muscle uh, is located. So we start from about here, from the middle of the eyebrows, and we'll measure until the mid eyebrow, so somewhere here. Measure the tape. So we go, I will go a little bit further, because it's better if it's slightly longer than shorter, because we want to cover the muscle and a little bit the area, a little bit before the muscle uh, and after the muscle. So that's it. So I just measured and I folded where I am supposed to cut my tape. And then I just cut it. Luckily, we have some strips, uh, sorry, lines here, so I can um, see uh, where to cut it so it's even now. I'm going to create two strips because we need, obviously, uh, two strips for each muscle, for each eyebrow. And I cut this tape in the middle. The scissors should be sharp. That is the key. Then we're gonna round the corners. We round in the corners so we do not lose this tape when we rub our face on the pillow when we sleep. If it's during the day, if you don't have time, don't round the corners other than, other than Comfort while sleeping uh, with those tapes, this rounded corners does absolutely nothing for aesthetic pleasure as well. So the tapes look nicer, but who cares if you're at home on your own, right? Uh, except for yourself. So there we go. This is how we're going to apply our tape. Avoid the area where you have uh, hair. Now we're going to create the thing called anchor. Yeah, about one centimeter away from the edge of the tape. Twist, tear, pull, let go. Look, the paper backing came off came off. Look how different it is. This is why this tape is breathable. This way, that's why you need to use kinesio tapes, not duct tapes, God forbid, or any other cellar tapes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the anchor just above and past the highest point of our eyebrow. You hold the anchor, you pull the tape, let go, get rid of the paper backing, I do the advanced move and actually leave it a little bit here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull your muscle together with the skin diagonally up and then you're going to gently tap over the tape. Do not stretch the tape. You don't need to uh, create any stretching on the tape. There we go. And then what you need to do, you need to rub the tape carefully to activate the adhesive part. One tape is done, one more to go. Take the second one, the same one centimeter and a half, one centimeter, whatever. Twist, tear, pull, let go. Get rid of the paper backing. Now we go again, the same thing. The highest point of your eyebrow just past it. Mm -hmm. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull diagonally up opening up the area in between your eyebrows, pull the tape, let go, uh, get rid of the paper backing, and now gently tap, still holding the tape. I apologize, because it's not a mirror, it's a camera. I mess things up here a little bit. And then rub the tape to activate the adhesive part of the glue. And like this, all pretty and nice, you either go to bed 
or you spend three to six hours somewhere, I don't know, at home, for example, working in front of your laptop. Working like this is even better. If you work from home, it's amazing because like this, you actually, when you concentrate, it stops you from frowning uh, completely. You know, when you are angry or when you, you're stressed, you tend to frown your eyebrows. This stops you from frowning. If you feel like just one layer is not enough, you can put the second one slightly above it yeah slightly above it just like this uh on top of it and it will make this application even stronger just don't forget to pull diagonally up when you gently tap over the tape and apply it to your skin because like this we opening up the area in between our eyebrows getting rid of 11 lines fixating the muscle in its leaned out in its original position where it's supposed to be and we work on Getting rid of the 11 lines, absolutely natural. If you're the owner of the 11 lines and you sleep like this overnight, you will be wow, super impressed tomorrow morning, okay? And on this note, I just want to say that all of this is great, but if you want to work on other areas of your face as well, I am giving you a chance to try my Feed Faces app absolutely free for seven days. You get seven days free in the app. You can get the invitation by clicking the link under this video or send me a message, comment under this video if you watched on YouTube to get your personalized invitation. Yes, this app is by invitation only. It's for only my dedicated subscriber special members and you will get unlimited access to all the exercises inside the app for seven days plus you will get access to the female wellness courses such as kinesio application course by the way it's there it's included in the membership vagina rejuvenation anti-aging uh, essential oil course we have anti-aging nutrition taught by gerontologist zora we have the uh, gua sha anti-aging head massage tons of courses all for you all included in the membership and are available during your seven day free trial go enjoy it you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain by giving it an amazing go and enjoying your seven day free experience and i hope to see you there very very soon go join it right now and i will see you there take care love you all bye bye